What is up everyone? Good morning. Today is another beautiful day here in South Florida. It's a little I'm, windy. I'm Dar Sizzle. For those of you who are new, this is Brian and I've got special guests on the boat. My dad on the boat today. So he is joining us on our expedition and we are going Wahoo fishing today. High speeding for him. We're specifically targeting Wahoo and it's a little on the windy side. So we're going to see how the conditions are when we get out there and start fishing. And I also got this massive lip diver I want to try. Look at the size of this thing. It's like 18 inches long. It's like, yeah, I think it's an X50. So we're going to see if this thing can do some damage. Big fish, big bait. One hour in, update time. We have trolled around a bunch of miles already. We um, are putting in our time on the water. We haven't got a bite yet, but we're not losing hope. So we're going to keep trolling. We're checking our lines real quick, and we're going to get back to fishing. How's that beanbag? It is unbelievable. <laughs> Comfortable. Can't do without it. He's the only one having fun out here. <laughs> it's a little choppy. It's rough. Well, hey, I'm going to put this line out. Like I said in the video yesterday, got this cowbell. So uh, here we go. All right. All right. All right, Sills on the wheel. I, I successfully eliminated all the bycatch. My driving also eliminated the catch of the Wahoo, apparently. Last year we got two Wahoo, but he was driving one time and I was driving the other time. We got two in one day, uh, but you know, maybe Lady Luck will do the trick. I don't know, we're gonna find out. <laughs> We don't do that great when it's rough high speed trolling too. So uh, we can do this for a little bit more until there's a minor and let's go. Let's go Sizzle. All <laughs> well, all you got, why all those guys out there on Barbie rods and RC cars, Sizzle's fishing, all right? No, no fun and games over here. Real fishing, right? That's right. Hold it's on. all real fishing, this is just hardcore. Did you bring the Barbie rod today? No. Or the chicken nuggets? No. No, that's not fishing. All right, we're gonna switch up tactics here a little bit. A little rough for high speed and we didn't catch anything in two hours. We're gonna put out some lip divers and go slow. Right, Sizzle? Oh. Well, it's, troll, right? Yeah, we're gonna troll, troll slower. Sending out this massive lip diver, which is bigger than my head, and like as long as my forearm. This thing is insane. I've never seen a lure this big, so first time we're gonna use it. Thank you, Dave Hickson, for the lure, and uh, hopefully he gets fish right now. Fish on, we got fish on. He got a fish on one of our lip divers, woohoo! You gonna slow it down? Just took a nice run there. And we're a little deep, so this could be something good. We'll find out though. He's way the heck out there now. Oh, I just saw him on the surface. Bonita. All right. All right, we got a fish. Look how he got hooked. I reeled him in backwards. Yeah, see, that's what happens with those treble hooks. They get all wacky. But we're gonna use keep him for bait. We got, got our bubble bait pliers. Gotta keep gotta be careful with these treble hooks always. So this color, if you guys have been watching my videos, and if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification. But this we just caught a big old snook on a few days ago in one of my recent videos. Check it out, we were inshore saltwater fishing, and uh, this will slay the snook inshore, and you will catch a lot of fish offshore on this. So if you're interested, link down in the description below. All right, let's get the lines out, and we'll catch another fish. We're running low on gas. All right, so we came in, it was really a little too rough for our boat. But Dad got to sit in the ocean tamer beanbag all day, living life. Let me show you the lures we use, guys. This is a Wahoo Express made by Ballyhood Lures, and we pull this with a cigar weight down deep. The second lure we pull high speed trolling is this 32 ounce Banshee Cowbell Lure, and this is pulled with no weight, and we, we run it way, way, way back in the spread. After high speeding for two hours, we switched to lip divers. Like we showed you before, want to thank Dave 
for sending us this awesome lure. We pulled this, didn't catch any fish. Big thank you to Carl, one of our f awesome fans that sends us fan mail, sent us his Yuzuri Bonita. We pulled this, didn't catch a fish on it. The only fish we caught today came on this lure. I just caught a snook on this lure too, but this is the Rapala Magnum 30 x rap We also pulled this one, which is the exact same as the one before, the Rapala Magnum 30. No schedule. This, yeah, and yeah, but no it, schedule. That's and, the it, and it sucks because like, but like we got screwed this week. Like the whole plan was to go wahoo fishing and like create all these awesome videos, show them how to do it offshore, and all of a sudden now we can't do it, and we don't have a backup plan, and you know it's just like we don't plan well. And then when we get out there, it's like, well, now we can't show them how to wahoo troll because it's too rough, it's too windy, it's too rough, blah blah blah. Dinner time. We are now here at the house hanging out and my dad just cooked, the, cooked a delicious meal. We've got some chicken and pasta over here with some spinach, uh, cream, cream of spinach. Yep. Right? That's right. <laughs> I thought I said that wrong. So this is delicious, but we had an excellent day of fishing today. Unfortunately, we didn't get that fish to the boat. But for those of you, those of you guys who are also new to the channel, this is my dad. His name is Tim. And uh, for those of you that are not aware, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer last year. And uh, he recently just started chemo treatment. For the, So those of you who are new, you haven't seen him in a while. I mean, who are regulars on my channel, you haven't seen him in a while. And now you can see he has no hair. So Brian's going to shave his hair here very soon and look exactly like my dad and uh so yeah so i just want to leave you a little update about that my dad's going to be receiving chemo treatment tomorrow so i uh, hope uh, hopefully all you guys can pray and uh, when you do see this video it'll actually be today he's receiving chemo treatment so just wish him good luck down in the comments below and continue praying for my dad we appreciate you guys so much um, but I also wanted to mention real quick about the bean bags that we took on the boat today from Ocean Tamer. And um, today it was pretty rough offshore. It was about three to four, two to threes with four to five foot seas mixed in there. It was pretty rough on our little 23 foot boat. So, Dad, what did you think about the Ocean Tamer Marine bean bags? I thought it was awesome. I wouldn't have been able to go without it. And um, there's old sailors and bold sailors, but if you got the bean bag, you got a happy sailor. So <laughs> yes. it was awesome. It yes. really worked well. He told me the whole time how comfortable he was, and we and you just standing on the boat, you're getting banged around. So today we are exhausted, but so happy that my dad is able to go on the boat. Thank you to Ocean Tamer, and if you guys are interested, I have a coupon code for that, Darcizzle, and you'll save 10%, and I'll link it down in the description below for you guys to check out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Ocean Tamer. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, but I figured maybe... I'll have my dad tell maybe a quick story about when I started fishing, which was the age of three years old. And a lot of you guys asked me this question, so maybe my dad can tell you guys a little quick story real quick about us fishing together. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, everyone watches Darcy's films and they see how well she handles the bait, she cleans fish, she baits her own hook, the, the whole nine. Um, but when she was small, three years old, um, I would make them get their own shrimp, her and her younger sister. <laughs> I remember that. I would put shrimp on ice. Um, it wasn't in the water, so as soon as you opened the lid of the cooler, they were super lively. They'd jump all over. <laughs> so it would take two of them to capture one shrimp. And it usually took about a half an hour. Much <laughs> screaming involved. Yes. The shrimp would flip all the way to the back of the boat with two of them in hot pursuit. Yeah. Um, but that was a blast. I'll never forget it. Now, they lose their, their bait. Well, go get your own <laughs> shrimp and I'll put it on the hook for you. Oh, my goodness. It was, the, it was something else. <laughs> <laughs> Scream and yell. About a half hour later, they'd finally get a line back in the water. Yeah. But she's come a long way since then. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you, Dad. Um, he has a lot more great stories like that. So if you're interested in more stories, let us know in the comments down below. And maybe we'll give you a couple more early fishing stories from my early childhood days. But I do remember that. I still scream at shrimp. And Brian does too. I'm just, I'm just saying. He screams a lot more than I do. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Make sure you give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. New videos every single week. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.